McDonald and Douglas are Scottish twin engines. They're practical, peppery and proud. They nearly always work together. One day, Donald and Douglas were chuffing through the countryside, hauling a heavy load. Down the line, Trevor, the traction engine, had been struggling with a big cartload of hay. Crossing the tracks, the cart's wheels had broken off. Then Trevor heard a whistle. Oh, no! Trevor cried. Donald could see the cart. Stop! He cried. Donald's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt. Stop being pushy, Donald snapped. Don't call me pushy, Douglas snapped back. You shouldn't have pushed me into the car, off Donald. You pulled me, I mean, argued Douglas. Didn't he? Did. Did, no. Did, too. Before long, the track was cleared, and Donald and Douglas were on their way. But the twins were so cross, they refused to speak to each other for the rest of the day. The next day, the fat controller needed an engine to help duck at the smelter's yards. May I go, sir? said Donald eagerly. I only need one engine, said the fat controller, not two. I am only one engine, sir, said Donald, and I would like to work with Duck. The fat controller was surprised, but agreed. Thomas was worried. Won't you miss one another, he asked. I know I'd miss Annie and Clarabel. I'll work better on my own, sniffed Douglas. I have work to do, huffed Donald. At first, Donald enjoyed working with Duck. Then, things started to go wrong. Did you shunt those trucks onto the other line? Donald asked. You said you wanted them on the other line, Duck replied. No, that other line. The other other line. Donald was cross. Douglas would have known what I meant, he huffed. Douglas was working on his own. He chuffed dutifully through the beautiful countryside. But Douglas had no one to share it with. Although he tried not to, he was beginning to miss his twin. That night, Douglas's driver took him to visit Donald. I was just passing, said Douglas. Have you come to say you're sorry? Donald sniffed. This made Douglas very cross. I've nothing to be sorry for, he said, and steamed away in a huff. The next day, Donald was in a bad mood. Duck could see he was getting too close to the buffers. Look out, he shouted, but it was too late. Donald's driver was very cross. This wouldn't have happened if you were working with Douglas, he said. Donald knew he was right. And Duck knew he couldn't pull Donald back onto the rails. So he went for help. Douglas was sadly finishing his work as Duck steamed into the depot. Donald's in trouble, said Duck. Donald in trouble, Douglas cried. I'm on my way. And he steamed off as fast as he could. Douglas struggled and struggled. He finally pulled his twin gently back onto the tracks. He was relieved Donald wasn't hurt. Thank you, Donald said, and I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, said Douglas. I'm sorry, insisted Donald. You don't have to have a row about who's sorry, chuckled Duck. Just be glad you're back together. And they were. <laughs>